Uh, hello, Chasers Tabo in the building. Uh, welcome, Tabo Morabe. Welcome, my brother. Hope well. I'm in the building. Powerful, powerful, my brother. Guys, uh, guys, it's happening now. It's happening, guys. It's happening. It's all happening in the building. Uh, you can see, guys, I just shared my screen now. Uh, let me see, guys. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I want to check. Um, okay, guys. Um, David from Cape Town. Town, Town Berry. Where is that, David? Where is that, man? Is that man okay, guys? So um, now I have just a quick uh, announcement to make, guys. It's festive now, uh, so me personally, I'm no longer trading because I feel like, um, like there's no need for me to be trading anymore. Like, just uh, I feel like this is the best time for me to be trading. Uh, okay, we're still in Cape Pro, powerful, powerful, my brother David. There, I feel like, um, now the market is moving somehow, it's a bit choppy and all that, and a lot of like uh choppiness going up and down so i feel like uh now is the time for me to just take an observation observation of the market and read and see how the market is moving uh west virginia and the berlin powerful 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 uh brick boy brick boy uh you know you know if i think so guys uh what i want to uh, what i want us to do uh what's, what's gonna happen is that i'm i'm gonna say okay i'm looking for longs okay or let's enter longs or sell but me personally, I wouldn't take any position, guys, because of now I feel like now it's time for me to just rest and adjust and see how the market is moving and all this so that I can know what is it that to like to have on my uh, next tier goals and all that. But now, guys, I'm no longer going to be capitalizing on any positions. Um, it's, it's like almost 25, guys, of uh, Christmas. So like, let's just relax and then have some nice um, Christmas. Then January, we come back stronger. But then again, but then again guys, if you still want to trade, I'm still gonna call the trade either way. I'm still gonna call the trade. It's my job to do so, guys. You know, my job. But then that's that, that was just a quick disclaimer. So before we finish, guys, um, I want us to discuss the market. So yeah, before we can talk and play and do everything else. So yeah. So guys, as you can see, uh, looking at US data on 15 minute time frame. So basically, this is what I do, guys. I look at my uh, chart on 15 minute time frame, then go down. To my five minute time frame and throw my zones. So you can see guys that we've been pushing to the downside. Let me just take the black one. You can see guys that we've been pushing to the downside, making lower lows, lower highs. We couldn't break below these lower lows and we started to enter in this what some sort of like a consolidation because we couldn't break above this what uh, lower highs as well. But eventually we saw price breaking below, coming back forward for a bit of a retest here, which is super super nice, and then continue to form uh, or to push to the downside. But one thing that you can literally notice here is that when price is pushing to the downside, this is the only big impulsive move that price has to the downside. What is that we saw? Uh, okay, guys, there's someone who's making noise. Okay, cool. Let's remove this. Uh, as you can see, this is the only big candle. Then what is that we saw? We saw price starting to do what to do this form, this descending structure. And what happened, guys, as you can see, you can see that price did break out of this descending type of 13 here, as you can see, let me just make this. You saw that price did break above. So we're expecting price to continue pushing to the upside. But then again, price is forming this resistance, as you can see. So we wanna see if price is gonna be able to break this resistance. If it doesn't break this resistance, then we're gonna continue selling. But if it does break above, then we're gonna be looking for our longs position. Remember guys, our strategy is only, is only based on what, on uh, how is the price or market reacting to that, um, specific key era. So going to my five minute time frame, uh, going to my five minute time frame, guys. So guys, I need you to pay a little bit of more attention to these sessions that we're gonna be having from now, especially the, um, the 1630 season course. I'm just gonna be explaining the whole process of my strategy. So I need you guys to pay a bit of more attention to understand the full process of this strategy. So you can see guys that we do have uh, some sort of like a resistance that was holding price to break above, then price eventually shot up, it shot down, and then retrace, continue to shoot down. So basically guys, what is happening here is what exactly what was happening on 15 minute time frame. So that now we're seeing a little bit more of candlesticks uh, forming. So what you can see guys, you can see that price did push above, break above this what previous uh, what, uh, lower highs here, we did break above, came back for a bit of retest, and then we might see price to continue push to the upside. But now, as you can see guys, I did say that price is creating this what minor resistance here. So we can still see price doing what? Pushing to the downside if it fails to break below here. But then again, guys, I'm not gonna uh, be ignorant to this uh, error here. I'm just gonna put in my line here so that I can see here where I just put in my lines. 
so you can see yeah, that price is approaching this area here. So if it doesn't break uh, below this area, then I'll literally say, okay, let's enter our long position because I can sell price is creating some sort of like a support as well here. But then again, going to my 15 minute time frame, guys, you're gonna see that we are trading above what we are trading above this trend line and above this what this key area here and above this what this key area here. So you can see guys that we have more chances of buying compared to selling. So yeah, guys, it is what it is now. We're just waiting for time so that uh, yeah, we can see how the market is, is moving and then they are gonna take it from there. Remember, guys, with uh, this strategy, what we we don't look for candidate kind of confirmation. Like someone's gonna be like, "Oh, this is the bearish engulfing." Then let's enter sales. No, we don't look for candidate kind of confirmation on five minutes. We only look for on fifteen minutes to see how the market is moving and how the price is, um, yeah, doing its thing, so that we can evolve our structure and then look to see. Guys, you can see that I put my my key area here because you can literally see that we do have a bounce, a bounce, a bounce here. And then we do have this key area as well, guys, which is very important as well, but it's a bit far from price now. So we wanna focus on the key area that is a bit closer to what to price. So we still have like one minute and uh, seconds, which is a lot of time. I, just a quick disclaimer, guys, make sure I thought you joking. Uh, I thought, I, I, more or less, you thought I'm joking about what, man? You thought I'm joking about what, man? Um, okay, guys, so uh, just a quick disclaimer, make sure guys that you are risking one or two percent of your account, don't over risk, guys, even because now it's just guys, you can even risk 0 0.5 percent, please, please, the back, even if you are risking 0 0.5 percent, that's still fine, still is more than fine, man, it's more than fine, and then make sure that if you have something that is hot by your side, you move it because I'm not taking cheese, no, I'm not joking, man, I'm not taking any position now, if you have something that is hot by your side, guys, make sure that you move it because now it's about to go down it's about to go down bro it's about to go down bro okay guys you can see that now we are trading in between these previous uh, 15 minute candle uh, you can see that price is trying to break these lows of this candle so we want to see if price is going to be able to break these lows and then yeah that's another confluence that we're going to be using to our advantage as well as you can see that these lows are our level of what our level of support Okay, guys, uh, let's enter our, uh, okay, guys, for me here, I'll be entering sales. I'll be entering sales. The reason being for me to enter sales is because of, you can clearly see that price did break below these errors here. You can see that it did break below this, uh, what, 15 minute time frame. Here, as you can see that there's a lot of uh, confusion that is happening, but uh, I'll literally adjust this to here. So you can see that we did break by a pip. So here, I'll be looking forward for selling opportunities. As you can see, super, super nice and simple, not too complicated. I'll be looking forward for selling opportunities because of these two reasons. And you can see guys that I did adjust here. My 15 minute uh, time frame can speak, did help me as well for what for this selling uh, opportunity that presented itself here. So if you didn't enter, you can still maybe wait for price to retrace and push a bit back here, uh, probably for some bit of a retest, then you can enter. But now, if you didn't enter this sell, because I think I called this sell somewhere here, if you didn't enter, you can just wait for price to retrace a bit. If it's, it's, if it's still going to retrace, if it's still gonna retrace, but you can see guys that um, this is where we call the trade. Super, super nice and simple, not too complicated uh, by because of uh, the confluences that we got from price. So as you can see guys, that price is still running in nice profit. It's still running in nice profit. As you can see uh, with those short, uh, yeah, super, super nice and simple, not too complicated. Uh, let me just see here. Guys, this is nice. You see guys, this is nice. 600 pips now, 600 pips, uh, 600 pips. Bro, I'd like to share my strategy with you for uh, for 1480. No problem, my brother, just text me. No problem, my brother, just text me. Then, uh, yeah, you're gonna discuss that. But guys, you can see that uh, if you entered, because me, guys, I personally did say that I'm no longer gonna be entering any positions. But if you did enter, guys, make sure that you send those screenshots as well. Make sure that you send those screenshots as well. So that, uh, yeah, make sure that you send those screenshots, guys, so that uh, we can see how you're doing. But I'm sure you're doing pretty, pretty good. I think now we've uh, even reached about thousand let me see let me see 917 916 okay guys super super nice and simple if you did enter guys you can literally um be swimming 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 in nice profit swimming in nice profit so the way the only best way to manage this trade now is to adjust your stop loss um to break even and then partial out as well guys take 50 percent of your profit off the table be safe 
move your stop loss to break even as well, guys, so that you don't um, you don't uh, 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 give back the profit that you've already made. So, guys, talking about profit, because stop loss is already break even. Profit, guys, I want us to. I'm looking for price to take out these lows here. I'm looking for price to take out these lows. So, uh, three, four, seven, five, four. That is our stop loss. Three, four, seven, five, four. That is our stop loss, guys. That is our take profit. I mean, that is our take profit. Our stop loss, break even, guys. Everything secure and safe. Uh, super, super nice and simple. Very, very nice and simple trade, guys. You can see that I did use, uh, I did use a very, very nice 15-minute kind of confluences with what with my five-minute confluence. So another thing that you can literally pay attention to, guys, here is that you can see that on five minutes I did put this level of support. Okay, Messi, Messi, you are, Messi, yeah, you are, you are, you are disturbing us. But guys, you can see that uh, when I was throwing this uh, five minutes a zone, I did throw it in a wrong way. But because of the help of 15 minute time frame, I was able to call it trade earlier. To say, guys, because of we did break below this low, let's enter our cells. And you can see I was able now to go back and adjust and say, okay, my uh, level was supposed to be here. And we did break, even if we did break by, even if we broke by a peep or 0 0.5 peep, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that we did break. We, break, we broke about three pips. This is something that is very, very much valid. But as you can see, guys, we're running a nice profit. Make sure, guys, that you share your screen, your, 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 your screens uh, of profit. Make sure that you send your, your, your profit. Um, uh, deep in blues, uh, Gabelo Chauk, a powerful, powerful, my brother. Uh, yeah, super, super nice and simple, guys. Super, super nice and simple. Uh, me, guys, I'm out of the building now. I'm out of the building. Let there be peace in the Middle East. Their brothers and sisters, be safe.